Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick tip that will help you whenever you need to compare one image to another, specifically when you need to zoom in and compare specific areas of an image to those same specific areas of another image. You may be doing this if you're calling images and you just want to see which one of two shots may be sharper or which one may have less noise or something like that. In my case, I have this image of my cat Rocky and it was shot at an incredibly high ISO of 10,000. And you could see that there's a ton of noise there. So what I did was I sent the image over to Topaz Denoise. And of course, when you do that, it creates a TIFF file. So now I have this original raw file of Rocky, and then I have this TIFF file that came from Denoise. And maybe I want to compare how well Denoise removed the noise from the image. So I could like zoom in on this image and see all the noise. But then when I click over on the other image, it zoomed into a different spot and that just annoys the heck out of me and uh, there's a little menu item in lightroom that will make this uh, kind of lock the zoom position in between multiple images uh, to do it you go up to the view menu and down to lock zoom position and you can see on a mac it has a keyboard shortcut of shift command equals on a PC of course that would be shift control equals and as soon as I turn that on now when I go between the two images you could see it's locked in position and even if I like move to another area like over here you'll see it's locked in position uh, personally I wish Adobe had this as the default behavior in Lightroom and if you didn't want it you could turn it off instead of having to turn it on every single time and it's not um, sticky meaning uh, tomorrow when I open up Lightroom that won't be checked anymore so you'll have to check it all the time so just a little tip I wanted to share with you uh, how you could probably more effectively compare one image to another when you need to zoom in on those images Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.